Hey, in our last exciting episode, I showed how I made this uh, do-it-yourself turntable for my HO uh, railroad layout. So, in this installment, I want to show how I will pretty it up just a little bit, because obviously just this hardboard is not all that uh, great looking. So, I'm going to use a uh, series of planks that are going to lay on this turntable to simulate how uh, an actual platform turntable would have been planked. Uh, but, and I thought about just gluing them right straight onto the hardboard, but I thought I would have difficulty getting them uh, tightly squeezed together. So what I'm doing here is I've sort of tacked these together in glue up fashion and I've squeezed this together and put a couple of weights on it. And uh, once this is set up enough for me to move it, I got a little wax paper underneath it. Once this is set up enough, then I can lift it off carefully and apply some glue to the surface and stick it down. And then I will smooth out the rounded edge of it. And I'll show you that later. But anyway, this is the project. I've got half of it done. And I've got some other planks that I will run down the center here of the track. So if you got the time, stick around and I'll show you how I do this. Okay, I've got some planks that are glued in here in between the rails and then a plank on the outside of the rail. Next, I'm going to take these pancakes uh, that I made out of the planks that have been gluing together and pinched together to squeeze out any space in between the boards. Now they're ready to be glued. Uh, I'm going to use some two-part epoxy. I'm going to glue those on to the platform itself and let those dry. Okay, now everything is set up as you can see here. Pretty rough around the edges. I just roughly trimmed these. So now what I have to do is some uh, happy little sanding and to see if I can smooth this back into a circle. So that's the next step. Well, we got it all sanded up. Nice and round on the edges. Smoothed out some of the imperfections. And now it's time to add a little bit of paint. Alrighty, first step is to take a mixture of brown and espresso and we're going to thin it way down with some water. You can see I did a little test piece here. So let's get after this and uh, this will be our first coat. really thin. I don't want to cover up a lot of the grain and all the differences in these slats of wood, but just to even things out a bit. Okay, this is not completely dry yet, and I want to go to the next step, but uh, make sure you do all the edges because that really light lumber really shows through. So as wood gets old, and we're going to assume that this has been in place uh, for a number of years in the yard. As wood ages, it actually doesn't get darker. It turns sort of a grayish color. Even a lot of tree trunks, if you start noticing the color, you'll see a lot of gray in there. So I'm going to create a really light wash of gray and uh, very gently age this wood just a little bit. Okay, so let's get on with that. And some of it I might I may wipe back off as I go here. But we just want to create a little aging effect on the wood. Okay, well that's aging out pretty good. 
I'm not going to do too much more to it, although I'm going to grime up some black in where the diesel engines, uh, locomotives pass back and forth. There's going to be diesel fuel and oil and grease and soot that's going to collect in the center. So I'm going to kind of grime up that center area. Don't forget to do the head of any bolts or hardware that you have and your little handle. And hopefully we want something that looks like we spent 10 hours on it, but actually we spent 10 minutes. <laughs> That's the goal. If you can do that, you'll actually get your layout finished. Otherwise, if every tiny spot in the layout takes hours and hours or days to finish, uh, you never get done. So I'll check back with you in a minute. Well, there it is. That's all I'm going to do for now. I'm going to call it done and move on to the next uh, 500 projects that uh, are waiting to get finished. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys later.